Yo, 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 it is your boy Nice vs Wild and you're listening to another episode of Fear Wolf Sessions. Thank you for tuning in. Oh man, what a crazy three to four weeks it's been, I'm not going to lie. I've been on the road, went to Fiji, San Fran, LA, Florida. Miami, you name it. We literally traveled, spent like, I think I, I, th- I think I did like 12 flights in a matter of three to four weeks. Literally all my money went on flights, but it was all worth it. The vision, the, the impact, the inspiring stories, uh, the conversations, it is absolutely priceless. Uh, I, I feel like I'm finally um, in my room in Melbourne. It's absolutely freezing. That's why I've got my jacket on. If you're watching this on YouTube, big love to you. Um, but I, I'm ex- excited for this conversation. I feel like I finally got a little bit of time to hopefully unpack the the last sort of couple of weeks. Uh, every other episode that I've did in the last sort of three, two weeks, sort of three to four weeks has been on the go, um, which which I kind of like, I felt like I rushed it. So hopefully I can um, share a, a, a bit of insight uh, in terms of what I learned um, and also uh, share a couple of things that actually inspired me and I wrote down in my diary. And hopefully you can take away um, whatever you want in your own journey uh, to help you keep going help you to uh, unpack your ideas. I know there's a lot of creative entrepreneurs that listen to these episodes, a lot of writers, a lot of storytellers, a lot of um, uh, individuals that that are not only trying to make impact in themselves, but also in their communities. Um, So hopefully you can get a couple of things out of today's session. Um, But if this is your first time listening, uh, my name is Nigel Sashil. I am a full-time creative entrepreneur from South Auckland. I was born in a rural Fijian village called Lambasa, Bunileka, and my mission in life is to write a story that beats long than my heart. Now, I'm not going to lie, I felt like I've really been living to my core values uh, the last sort of three to last last little bit of sort of last three to four weeks i feel like i've really been living to my values uh of you know trying to write a story that beats longer than my heart now the reason i say this is i finally i don't know i think i've been talking about it for eight months but i finally wrote the first chapter of my book and i I i've been sharing a couple of snippets on my stories um sort of the um, while I was on my trip and I wrote a lot of it uh, while I was on the plane because I finally had some like time to reflect uh time where my brain wasn't thinking or like 24 7 while my brain's always thinking like the life of a creative entrepreneur is crazy it's like it's always moving what's the next thing what's the next idea it's like my greatest strength and my greatest weakness and I've talked about it way too many times um but yeah I had some time to really reflect and I finally unpacked and wrote down with my own hands the first chapter of my book and the first chapter is called the heartbeat and uh there's one thing that I sort of it's like took away in the process of writing the first chapter is isn't it fucking crazy that the ideas actually manifest when you actually try to write because i am like literally the worst writer and man as soon as i wrote like the first three to four lines everything just rushed out like it was absolutely crazy and that's how i felt like i richie i think i wrote the first chapter in a matter of like like four hours and i fucking hate writing um that's why probably why i talk too much to be honest um but honestly i wrote the first chapter in a matter of four hours the heartbeat can't wait for you to read it one day i I haven't really put my a time frame in terms of when it's going to get released because i really want to take my heart out and and write this as the best of my ability for you as a reader to one day um feel like you've you you can you can gain some knowledgeable insights in your own journey to really help you break those stereotypes break those barriers break those limiting beliefs um that anything is possible if you really put your mind to it yeah so i'm excited um wrote the first chapter to be honest i'm so hyped that i actually wrote a chapter because i've been like putting it on the back burner for like way too long um, but I think, you know, having the time to travel and really step out of my normal environment and normal daily routines really helped me, uh, gave me a chance to really slow down and find peace in my own mind. And sometimes uh, I lack that as a, as, a, as a creative and as a business owner or even as Nizel on its own because I'm always, like I said, always like my brain's always moving and um, there's no stopping it. Uh, that's for sure. 
Um, but yeah, I'm glad I'm done. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. But today's episode is going to be about a thousand miles starts with one step. I've been really thinking about the statement and I uh, think about anybody, right? Like think about Elon Musk, think about Steve Jobs, think about Nelson Mandela, think about uh, the Wright brothers that created the airplanes and stuff like that. You know, like every individual that you may be inspired to be like or have uh, related to their story once started from ground zero. And if you're in a position right now, and I know most Beer Wolf listeners are business owners or creatives or writers or storytellers or whatever you want to name it, you're in a craft where you're trying to, you know, find who you are, find the core things that inspire you and make your heart beat, right? You're, you're in a position, you wouldn't even be listening to this episode if you're not. You're in a position where you have, you finally have the courage and the willingness to discover who you can truly be. And I think, um, I think anybody that you might have looked up to or still look up to, you need to realize that they started at ground zero. Yes, ground zero. They started as nobody. And everybody, I'm not gonna lie, like I've made this mistake. Everybody is living in this world sometimes to, to help, to feel like they, they are somebody. But man, like this trip really made me realize that, you know, when we have the willingness to allow ourselves to discover who we are, sometimes it stops from striving to allowing. And I know I talked about this in the last episode, but I really wanted to unpack it because a lot of times, you know, we force ourselves to really find who the heck we are really, really quickly. And we don't give ourselves patience, time and decades to discover it. I'm going to give you an example, right? I started off as a photographer probably when I was 19, right? And I can tell you, hand on my heart, honest to God, that after I'm t turning 30 this year, and it now after a decade, I finally feel like I've discovered the style that of photography, of art that I really like to photograph. And to be honest, before I was doing beer wolf sessions or having these conversations or anything like that, like I, I was always a photographer, like that was my identity. And um, I, I struggle to, you know, get better at it or even struggle to feel like my art was good enough because I was always comparing it to every other fucking photographer out there. But, it, you know, it took finally after 10 years. Now I feel like that I've really discovered the art, the style, the colors, the tones that really helps me to feel happy even when I look at my images. And I, I think... It, it, moral of the story is like I don't give a fuck what anybody else thinks of my images it's how I feel when I look at it and I think it took me so long to come to terms with that um, especially being a, a such a perfectionist when it comes to photography uh, but just a just an example to be honest and I think uh, a lot of times we need to allow ourselves and really give us decades if it has to be, to really discover the style, the the ideas, the nurturing of ideas that sometimes it doesn't happen overnight. It does take a long period of time. But yeah, a journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. <sighs> the reason I wanted to talk about this today is because before I got onto that plane three, four weeks ago, I had a different mindset. And after going to Fiji, spending some time in my hometown, seeing how people live, and then jumping to on a plane and going to LA, and then San, uh, then Miami, Florida, and then San France. Like I, I, I was in a matter of three to four weeks, I was put into different environments and different conversations very, very quickly. And I needed to learn how to adapt, right? And I learned so much about how people live and thrive in uncomfortable situations and comfortable situations and how some people uh, take things for potentially granted or they don't know how big or how much potential they have because they are so trapped in their environments and their limiting beliefs. And I, I'm a big believer in this, okay? Like I've, I've made so many in the last sort of 10 years, uh, there's been so many times where I did not have the confidence because I let my limiting beliefs hold me back from achieving the things that I really wanted to achieve because I was just scared of the outcomes. And the last three to four weeks helped me really un, really un, 
unpack a vision that my dreams and I hope your dreams are bigger than your bedroom. And a lot of times we stop ourselves from realizing that because we're so confined by the environment that we live in. And sometimes it's not by choice. It's just based on circumstances because, you know, we, we might feel like we don't have enough money in the back pocket to jump on a plane and go somewhere or, or change our environment or, or situations. But if you're living in the Western world, I promise you that's an excuse. All right. There, there, there is always opportunity. There is always a way. It might take you a little bit longer than the person next to you. But remember, this is your road. This is your story. OK, this is your novel, your write up, your chapter, your life. OK, and there's always a way to rewrite that script for it to be better. And 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 it's not until we ha go in with an open mind to having the willingness and i talked about this on the last episode the willingness to have conversations in in uncomfortable situations not only with others but ourselves that's when we really realize who the heck we can become Man, it's just like, I I just feel like the last sort of three weeks for me personally, I felt like I really lived to my values of, you know, putting myself in uncomfortable conversations, putting myself in uncomfortable environments to really help me grow um, and help me like write. And like going back to my first example, I actually hate writing, but I, I'm so proud of myself for writing a first chapter of a book. And it's, and, and it, it, like my mind for the first time felt like the, the all the creative juices just came out and i encourage you um after listening to this episode to really you know make that first step to realizing that a thousand miles starts with a single step you know sometimes we get so fix fixated about planning about you know when's the right time or when it when can we move or when can i like you know get my head right or when can i actually pick up a pen and do something and or make that step of doing something i care about or i love and and you know having the movement and the willingness to move towards the thing that makes you tick i promise you there's it, it, like the universe is going to work in your favor because when you do something that you love um the somehow the universe just always finds a way um to reward you for it because you're you're aligned with your personal legend i don't know i just read this uh alchemist i read this book on the plane called the alchemist uh, the alchemist i think that's how you say it the uh, alchemist sorry the alchemist um and i'm gonna put the description in the show notes and stuff like that as well but man one of the most amazing stories um of a of an individual that followed the tick inside his heart followed the the core element of love and how the universe rewards love and also the how he followed his personal legend and how if everybody followed their personal legend or had the courage to do it how the universe will will, will make sure that everything that you ever aspired to come to life will come to life even in different ways of rather than you expecting it, it it always comes together at the end um no matter no matter how much doubt is within your soul it's only when you have the willingness to you know go in that direction of um uncertainty of um of personal um challenges and obstacles that you really unpack um and understand uh, who you can become yeah it's so beautiful right um but yeah what a, like last sort of three weeks it's been fun um hands down and i've learned so much and hopefully i'm not repeating myself here but you get the gist uh it, it's really really uh, seeking understanding rather than um trying to um find out you know how you can challenge yourself in uh, uncomfortable situations and i think i really did that to be honest uh, i went into some amazing conversations and really 
really went went out to with an open mind and i think with 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 making the first step we really have to have the courage to um understand the the person that we're trying to be and that's why i talked about you know anybody that you look up to started at ground zero um, but also understanding that there are going to be challenges and obstacles and limiting beliefs that you're going to have to bend reality to to overcome and not many people will understand this and i think there's the, the the stories that you sell yourself can be crucial because the world has been built around narratives and stories and i think when we unpack that um and realize the things that you hold closely to your heart and your values and make sure you you look at stories as a whole and narratives as a whole and rather than you know believing it off the bat because it's like it's like you know it's really understanding the 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 things that feel right to you and i'm not saying that it might be right to everybody but it's it's not assuming it if that makes sense and really understanding people's thinking processes and that's why i try my hardest never ever to no one's perfect to judge or 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 think about somebody in a different in a negative light because they i haven't lived the life that they have lived and i haven't lived the thinking processes that they have lived and that's why they think that way and it's really having every conversation with an open mind and that's why i I feel like the last three weeks i've lived core to my values because i went out of my comfort zone to have conversations put myself in rooms to really tell people hey look this is what i care about like is there anything i can do to help and i think going with the intentions of not wanting anything in return the universe just rewards you man like crazy but yeah it's fun three weeks and um you know if you're if you're in a position uh, to be honest if you if there's anything i want you to take out of this session today is to you know if you if you're scared to make the first step um just remember like i know you're thinking about like the thousand miles but like any any journey of a thousand miles always starts with one step and you know really set out the values that you care about set have a little bit of a plan like even if you don't have much of a plan i didn't have much of a plan the last three weeks but everything sort of fell into place um but it's like have having the willingness to move is more important than having a plan uh know there's going to be obstacles there's going to be challenges but remember to celebrate the wins like me writing my first chapter of my book that's a bloody win because i absolutely hate writing um but yeah that i think i think you know when you celebrate the wins and give yourself a little bit of you know positive affirmations towards the uh, goals and the and the things that you're striving for i think it's going to be a little bit of a stepping stone to the to the ultimate vision uh, that you are trying to unpack and remember to follow your personal legend as they as they say it everybody has a personal legend and sometimes we let the world convince us that we don't have a personal legend and we don't deserve it but you 100 percent deserve it so keep going keep being a wolf make that first step hopefully this conversation inspired you to make the first step that's what i was trying to do and even if it didn't thanks for listening for 18 minutes peace and love i will see you next monday damn we're almost about to hit 60 episodes can you believe it and oh classic nizel uh big shout out to feature weddings for sponsoring this episode uh without feature weddings none of no beer wolf sessions ha- will ever come to life because feature weddings is keeping beer wolf sessions alive whoo let's go keep being a wolf keep going um i'm excited for next monday um as well make sure you tune in hopefully we get a couple more guests in um but hopefully you've been enjoying every session if you've been hating it make sure you do a review subscribe whatever you call it do some magic if you even if you hate it can you tell me what you hate about it so i can like record it put in my ears and go do a thousand miles um but yeah now tell me what you love what you hate what you want to talk about um also message me if there's any topics conversations or any ideas that you have that i think i should unpack um last three weeks has been fun can't wait for you to all read my book uh and if if you don't read it like i just can't wait to finish the book uh it's going to be super super 
inspiring and remember there is no special people in this world there is only individuals with varying with different levels of self-belief levels so what level of self-belief are you at right now i'm gonna leave you with that keep being a wolf keep going let's go 20 minutes damn i haven't done a 20 minutes episode in ages let's go